Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Heritage Game, Britannia Land, where we have University of Nottingham versus uh, University of Bath. 1-1 one, one this series as it stands, best of three, the final game after a frantic and hyper series of, uh, of today. Pyrian Flax obviously joined me. Pyrian, what have you thought of the game so far? I, I mean, I think it's been great. I really enjoyed it. That last game, Radiance I think, uh, hopefully it's not going to be the best game of the day. Hopefully mm -hmm. this one can somehow top it. But so far, I think we've been treated to some high levels. So uh, man, It's definitely brought the hype. Uh, I mean, what one hero that's, I think, really been heavily contested is the Zeus, actually. I mentioned it in the previous game. Wonder whether University are not only going to ban it out here. Obviously, Bath, they ban out Chen, which has been the same throughout the series. Yep. I mean, University of Nottingham, they have a player that is a very Ch Chen renowned. I can't remember which one it is, but I know Chen is uh, very, very highly picked on University of Nottingham. So they make sure Bath are not going to, I mean, University are not going to get that. But they do land at the Zeus. So that is definitely going to be a change from the past two games. Yep. So now, what, what are Bath going to prioritise if Zeus being banned is the question? Well, this does leave three of the worst heroes in Dota at the moment still in the game. OT, <laughs> Invoker, and Spectre are all there. We didn't see Spectre do too well earlier today. He didn't really get the farm he needed, but I do think that uh, this game could go long if both teams Ten know loser goes home. Yeah. You never know. Might be a more of a stately kind of farming game, so seconds, plays into the hands of certain heroes, or are they just going to go for it? That's the question. First pick, Vengeful Spirit here for the University of Bath. A hero that we've seen actually throughout the day, actually. The hero has quite a good success. A hero that's just generally good, obviously, provides decent lockdown, decent AoE to sort of team fight with Wave of Terror, and obviously the swap to say that any uh, you know, cause that might be in trouble. The, the swap stuff. is what it's all about. I mean, positioning is so big in these games because if you catch someone out and you can blow them up, that can be the fight right there. Ten so I think Venge is fantastic swap. I mean, her stun is really good. Wave of Terror for vision, Five you can find enemies really hiding stuff. Yeah, yeah. Such great utility. And the minus armor as well. Yeah, like, and also gives them a bit to, to Roche as well. It gives them the extra Roche potential, which I yep. think has been a, a key factor throughout yeah, this game, yeah, actually. Really we saw in the last game, obviously, Roche really playing a factor in terms of the team fight. So, first pick here as well. It doesn't show too much of your hand. Benjamin worked in different, different drafts, so no surprise there. But <coughs> University of Nottingham, go for Gyrocopter again. It worked for him in game two, so game three, no, no different, perhaps? Very difficult hero to shut down. Um, Good in all stages of the game, like yeah. the landing stage. We saw it, it was it was facing an Earth Spirit at Baden Lane, which is very, very strong, yet a Gyrocopter had a great landing stage regardless. So. Yeah. yeah, I think they've uh, it's a good pick. And there's the Ooh. void. Interesting. Intervent, from yeah, Intervenge, as we saw, can be a bit iffy, but if he can land the big Chronospheres, you never know. Definitely, definitely. So, second pick here, Invoker's still on the board, but instead go for themselves some Phoenix, like they didn't Radiant get one. Yeah. Well, I think the Phoenix did well in game one, um, so we'll have to see how it goes here. But without yeah. the Zeus, I think I think Bath really like having that Zeus. Yeah, we'll have they, to see what, what they come up with. What they can play with instead. Um, perhaps they're a one-trick pony? Who will know? We'll only have to find out. I don't think so. No? Well, what other bits do you think would be a decent pick here for, for Bath? OD is there, of course. Oh, um, he's Invoker, actually, Invoker surprisingly. Invoker is there, yeah. It's been banned out throughout the series, actually. We haven't seen one Invoker this game, have we? Or did we see him uh, in the last series? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he's been banned every time. I don't, I don't remember seeing an Invoker, that's for sure. Again, Invoker, one of those heroes, though, kind of similar to the Lone Droid, where we saw being banned out throughout the start. You know, you have to have a player that can play the Lone Droid. It wasn't banned out last game, wasn't picked. It probably won't get picked here, honestly, I don't think. I don't think anyone's a, a Lone Droid player. So, as a result, um, as you said, I think both of you definitely be on the cards for the University of Bath Ten here, but it looks like remaining. not them going to ban out the Bane, actually, that had uh, a big impact Dyer in the last game. Pick. Actually, in the game one, excuse me. Bane and Joe oh, there he is. There's the Emoga, but for the University Radiant of Nottingham, actually. Pick. Now, for in terms of the University of Bath, their middle of are very limited. Viper, Zeus, and Death are all banned out. I think OD really has to be the, the, the next best option. And I think OD would be very good here, actually, because it works very well against Faceless Void. You know, Faceless Void, as long as you know, OD doesn't get caught, you can easily disrupt the Faceless Void, completely kind of nullify his ability to have uh, the good Chronospheres. I'm going to be honest with you, this is three Ten scary heroes in yeah. University of Nottingham pick. Venge and Phoenix are great, don't get me wrong, but... Five seconds. But nothing on Void and Boker and Chara. Uh, that's something else. They need to start picking some, uh, some doing stuff heroes. 
Well, I think that the weakness of picking your three cores for uh, first though is that you know the other team can obviously counter and, and look towards how can they beat the cores already presented from the Sana University at Nottingham. But I think throughout the whole series actually, it's been the, the laning stage and, and the, the early rotation from ganks. I'd really like to see Barth maybe try and pick up more of a, a roaming gank in kind of lineup. Uh, here, like Evoker, doesn't have really any escape outside of Ghost Walk Boys. You know, as long as you have dust, you can easily catch him out. Void a little bit harder to gank, but I mean, particularly in the previous meta and the meta now, it's all about the middle lane. If you can secure mid the win, you can secure most likely the game as well. So, yep. and I think Odiza is a great example for that. I mean, with the disruption of four seconds with his W, you could set up an easy rotation from you know Venge and Disruptor. You know, yeah. Oh, perhaps I'm not sure about it. this pick. I guess it might be quite handy uh, for some stuff but I'm not sure that it's as scary as Gyro Void Invoker. I'm still looking at their lineup. Don't get me wrong, I like Disruptor, but I, I quite like Nottingham's job, so... Oh. Yeah, I mean, Disruptor's one of those heroes that is completely useless when... Come on, Nottingham, you can do it, lad! <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Um, with disruptor going back to the point though is that you, the hero is incredibly Five good but remaining. when the enemy picks up starts picking up bkbs the hero is completely useless you can only be worked when the hero of the time. enemy team doesn't have bkbs but uh -oh. earth spirit picked up now as well a hero that was on the side of bath last game but most likely going to be played in their second support role now in this game which i do think is the preferred option where you should play earth spirit in this meta what do you pick here if you're bath i believe they have their carry or their mid left um I think Odie would be a good shout, honestly. Like, in, particularly in this game, he, he can lane well against Invoker. Um, he's good against Faces Void in terms of the team fights. And it's a hero that, even if Jira comes against BKB, he can do a lot of damage because of the pure damage from Arcane Orb. I think, honestly, Odie is probably the, the, the best option they have left. They have to have some kind of sustained DPS as well. So, there are any other mids like Lena or, you know, the heroes that are bursty, like Lena, for example, just can't fit in this draft, I don't think. They have to have. Uh, a sustained mid sort of carry and I think Odie is probably the best person for that. Um, can obviously dodge the Earth Spirit stone uh, stun as well with his clutch. I mean I, d I just think like in terms of frontline beef they are lacking a little bit so far. There's your there's, beef! There's your beef! There's man. your beef! Sven! Nice! We saw nice. Sven in the last series that honestly decimated the side of uh, I think it was Cambridge in the game two of the last series. So hopefully obviously Bath are gonna try and do something similar as well. I think Sven, this game is obviously good, there's a lot of armor, so the gyrocopter is going to be lacking a little bit. The one problem though he's going to face, he's going to face a lot of kite from his low uh, EMP is going to cause a problem, so it's Tornado, Cold Snap, Ice Hole, all going to cause a lot of problems for Sven actually. So uh, it's going to rely a lot on like the Disruption of Venge to lock down the cores of the University of Nottingham, so Sven can dish out a lot of damage in the team fights. Magnus Van, that makes sense. Radiant yep. team extra back. cleave from Sven could do a lot of work actually. Plus, I think RP into Static Storm, Egg, all egg. the rest of it would be really powerful. So crazy that's a, that's one a combo. Good ban, yeah. yeah, crazy one by combo. The last ban here, um, Bane is banned out. I think Shadow Shaman would be a decent ban. Honestly, it would, it would, it would give University no way of really pressuring Five towers. So I think ban would be. I think Shadow Shaman would be a decent pick here for Nottingham if Shaman is not banned out. Reserve time. Yeah, so at, at the moment it's basically the forged spirits and that's yeah, about it. Exactly. So they don't have, and, and everything I mean all the time like you you always if you listen to like the, the pro players they always talk about this patch this meta it's all all about how can you pressure and how can you push your advantage how can you you know end the game how can you take towers how can you go high ground and that obviously comes from from, from push but ban out the science for instead worried about the phoenix Science are an incredibly strong hero against Phoenix, not only in the laning phase but in team fights as well. So scared of that. But I think Shaman would be a decent pick here. It'd, it'd be decent against Phoenix, give him extra lockdown to kill him himself in the lane. Give even more extra lockdown for the Sven as well, and obviously would give the, the pushing power to Nottingham as we've mentioned before. Ten seconds remaining. Oh. Ah. Remaining. Maybe they, they want something that has AOE as well that can synergize with the Gyrocops and the Faces Void as well, or even a, a good ganking partner with the Earth Spirit. Uh, we still haven't seen what the mid is going to be for the University of Bath, but Earth Spirit plus one and Invoker in the mid lane is going to cause a lot of problems regardless of what mid you pick uh, for the side of University of Bath. Sky Rats. Sky Rats. So. The old TI4 Radiant Faces Void Sky Rats Mage combo, man. It's back. <laughs> They do definitely have ganker potential now, but yes, obviously... Yes, they do, yes, they do. 
they are again though they are lacking a little bit of lockdown outside of like good damage uh, but yeah push and lockdown a bit of an issue so they've got lots of stuns and uh, containment on the side of the buff I think the lineup Sven's done vent spirits done yeah. glimpse is good Reserve I think Ode, field, I think Odi has to be the pick here like with the Sky of Mage pick as well I think Odi just became 10 times better because you know if obviously if Sky of Mage uses Mystic Flare onto a target you disrupt him and then there's no damage coming out anyway yeah, so yeah. I think Odi is, is most likely or should be the pick here but we'll have to wait if uh, the Captain of University of Bath agrees with me. Ten seconds remaining. Quickly, what's your bet? I don't know, I think they've got something up to see. They've got five remaining. seconds, I think. I want OD. Weaver! Oh! Wow! Complete curveball! Wow. So, how are they going to lane this? Are they going to lane Weaver mid? Um, they could go Weaver mid, I guess, or they could go Phoenix mid and go like Sven plus one, Weaver plus one. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but. Very weird drop. I think Evoker, I mean, regardless who Evoker is against, he's going to crush the Weaver and the Phoenix. <laughs> the the one fact, if Weaver is going to be mid, and I think it is because the old driver is the off laner for okay, University of okay. one, one strength that Weaver has mid against the lineup of University of Nightmare is that he's been very, very hard to kill. Like, Scarf Mage plus Earth plus Evoker is an incredibly strong ganking partnership yeah, in the yeah. lane. Whereas Weaver, obviously, with the Sakuchi, it's going to be very hard for him to die. Um, Obviously, you have the science of Sky of Mage, but it's very hard for that to, to go off without a hitch. So, there's the strength there. Obviously, it can. I don't know, this Weaver to me just seems very strong. I'm trying to pull strings of why the way the Weaver over, say, the OD, but um, we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see if it works out in the end. Yep, and we've got Spirit on the Disruptor, Bay on the Sven, BYFD on the Weaver, the, the Optimus on Venge, and Old Driver on the Phoenix. And finally, for University of Nottingham, we have LRM on the Faceless Void. Never don't give up on the Invoker. Sock on the Earth Spirit. Cloud Reed on the Scarf Mage. And finally, Joff on the Jarocopter. What is this Invoker set? Look. Oh, this. He looks like Super Saiyan, man. It's pretty swag. Yeah, I don't like anime. Oh, yeah. These fools. Kill them. But it looks like uh, there's going to be a contest over both bounties actually, but it looks like actually University of Bath, I'm not going to find anyone with their smoke weapons in the jungle, unfortunately. So far the, uh, th this, is, this hasn't worked yet, but uh, the one that. time it does work, I think it's worth doing. But I think it can be a little bit predictable though, if you remember University of Bath, they've done smoke every single game. Yeah, and yeah. obviously I mentioned before that the UK Dota scene, they do play a lot against each other. And so you can, you know what your opponent's going to do. And if you smoke, uh, if you go level one smoke every single game, it's going to become predictable. That's obviously all five rotate into the bottom, like, bottom rune and make sure the smoke is going to come The one thing it does do is, it guarantees the one rune. You're forcing them, they're like, we'll just dodge that. You know you get one rune, fair it's, enough. I mean, uh, you can secure bot room though as well, seeing as they are radiant, but um, regardless, so it looks like it's going to be a weaver mid, as I assume, because obviously it's going to be very good to, to, to dodge the gains coming out from University of Nottingham, but Phoenix is going to be top lane, weaver going to be mid, um, and place this void is going to be in the off lane on the side of University of Nottingham. The only ward actually placed down by uh, void in the bot lane down here, should be able to spot any rotations from uh, yep. University of Bath, so, but uh, it should be fine. It's going to be hard to try and get himself some lane control back though, because if Disruptor and the Avengers will do a lot of work onto this Yeah, it is going to be very so. difficult for him. But so is the Sky so is the Phoenix, obviously. Sky Mage is an incredibly strong Phoenix counter though, because if you can get the, the Ancient Seal, you can actually stop the uh, Icarus dive mid-flight. Yep. Uh, obviously, Sky Mage is not level 2 yet, so uh, Phoenix should be fine already, but already baited out the Icarus dive, so he's going to have that on corner for the next 25 seconds, so he's, he's going to have as, as hard of a time as Void is in the offlane. But both teams running a defensive uh, lane, just of leaving the void to it. Meanwhile, the top leaving the Phoenix to it. So interesting. So because both teams are running defensive tri lanes, the thing that's really going to cut um, or, or make the X factor in this game is the rotations from the supports. Both yeah. teams can easily rotate with their supports. Venge plus the disrupt is a very strong combo. And so is Sky of Mage and, and Earth Spirit. Now the one X factor that. Um, Bath have over uh, Nottingham is that Invoker is a lot easier to gank than the Weaver. Um, so I would definitely like to see the supports from Bath rotate onto mid eventually throughout this the early game. Oh, that's
look at that. That's auto attack damage from Invoker. Ridiculous. Maxi man. Bill. Dope, Sven, doing fine in farm. Nine and four. Gyro the same. So, uh, it's gonna be a pretty farmy at the start of the game, I think. It's gonna be trouble. Oh, he's just able to super bird man out of there. But look at this harass that Skyrath can put down. Need a stick there, Mr. Phoenix. Uh, it, I'd really don't like to see as University of Nottingham try and prioritize level two on the Skyrath Mage. Because if they get level two on Skyrath Mage, this Phoenix can't lane. He's just gonna, he's gonna die. Like, honestly, if. Because if you can aim to seal while the Crystal is going up, obviously you stop in mid flight, and well, if you stop in mid flight, then he's definitely going to die. But um, Esprit is going to be pulling here. It looks like there's actually a rotation from Venge, top lane. Very early rotation from Venge. Try and help out the Phoenix. Yeah. But I think this Venge is food, honestly. Like the Sky Mage Earth Spirit is just going to kill this Venge if he's out of position. So he has to be careful. Right, they're going to go and try and uh, mess with the pull a little bit here. Meanwhile, Sven and Void sort of looking at each other over the creep waves but they're not really in a position to harass, harass each other too much. There's Jason the Venge. Gonna get it, oh, ball. Oh nice dodge! That was nice. Saw that coming and the Icarus dive away. But Venge, with Venge being top though, this does actually free up a bit more of the lanes and places for Oh like Weaver, one more oh. attack! Goes to a four! Wow, he just had mana for that. Yeah, we was, we we was doing surprisingly well against Invoker mid, honestly. Um, I, I wouldn't expect Viva to do so well, but... I mean, like... Oh, Venge. Go on the Skyrath, oh, but this. wait. She gets caught out by the Esper. Now nah, she'll be fine. Rocket on the Birdman. They're, they're decent. Both of these lanes are going alright, I think. For, yeah. uh, for Burr. But... Yeah, as you say, we were doing very well. Forces Invoker all the way back. It's surprising, honestly. I think the Invoker should be winning this match. Like he has a, he has a Sentry Ward mid as well, so the security should be a big factor in this matchup. Um, but Invoker still pressured very, very heavily. But again, we still haven't seen a rotation for the support, so I think the support's rotation is going to be the biggest and most important thing. Weaver is actually rotating top though. Might try and get in on the action. Uh, just check for the room instead. I think the thing is the, uh, the Geminate means that. I mean, look at that. He's got. Three levels of Gucci, but just a level in Germany means that when he does get harassed on Invoker, it's a lot. I think it hurts a lot. But he does. Void's actually getting quite a nice time in, in the off lane now. Because Venge is rotated top, you know, Vin, I mean, Void doesn't seem as pressured. And as a result, you know, Void's you know, 12 and 1, nearly the same CS as Invoker actually. So, again, I think this rotation from Venge oh, is definitely oh, wrong. Another bowling ball misses. Rotation here from the Disruptor actually. I'm gonna try and get something done for the side of University of Bath. But they are leaving Void again, kind of a free farm right now. He's only 1v1 against Sven, and Sven can't really, really harass and box out the Void by himself. So Void is gonna have a, a decent time in this lane, honestly, now because the support's rotated out. True, but uh, Sven's doing alright as well. I think in a way. Oh, mid lane. Oh, mid, yeah. There's a glimpse. Oh, this should be a dead invoker first blood. Oh, he does get him. Skyrath comes in, tries to get something done, but he will not. And Weaver gets the first blood against Invoker. Very nice. But this is what I was talking about before, about how the supports would need to be the thing that sort of breaks the ice, breaks the stalemate, and, uh, you know, University of Bath, they strike first, and very, very important kill, because Weaver was doing good against an Invoker, and now after that kill, he's going to be a, a real threat, honestly, into the mid-game. Yeah, so. definitely. Good as a result. I think... Uh this is actually fine for Sven. He's alright. I mean, yeah, Void's they're never going to trade punches, but you know, I, I almost think in a way, if he just ignores this, he can farm. The moment they come down here and start wrecking the Void, they might rotate yeah, some people yeah, yeah, in to yeah. help him. But I think um, with Disrupt, I mean, I think maybe Disrupt might need a, a level three to, to secure a kill on Void because uh, the level in Glimpse is, is too low at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think they should definitely look to try and keep the aggression on. They rotate mid, that's great, but they cannot let off the pressure. They're in an ability to sit, keep looking to go, to go aggressive. If they can get level 3 and disrupt up, maybe they should try and rotate more, or even go again onto the evoker mid. Yep. Phoenix is definitely having a very, a very tough line, time in this, in this lane though. Like, void, um, although, might be a rotation. 
be a um, double top or mid or bot. Not bot. Oh, 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 there's a chrono, sun strike. That should be a dead spin. Yep, they finish him off. Very nice. Invoker's gonna go around the back. Here's Invoker, bench done. Loads of damage coming out from the Weaver. And they get him with the glimpse. Very nice. They trade, um, oh actually top lane, Phoenix oh, probably got yeah, as well. Phoenix. Oh, oh look at the silence, there it is! He was in mid, third man, can he get out? No! Scarra takes yeah. him 2-2. Yeah, and this is why Scarra is such a great counter against Phoenix, because of that reason alone. Phoenix is having a lot, a really hard time in the off lane. He can't man fight the, Sky, the Skyra Mage, and when he pushes too far up, he can get caught out with the Ancient Silk and Skyra Mage. And I mean, the off lane here, like, basis one is level 7 compared Dyer's to a level 4 top. Phoenix. And yeah, the, yeah. the off lane is really, you know, changing up. But a rotation down bottom from the Invoker, but Roy doesn't have ulti, though. So I don't know how they're going to secure a skill on Sven without the Chrono Spear. They're going to try anyway. Just walk up and punch him. There's the time dilation. He managed to get the stun off, but is he going to go for it? No. Oh, Glimpse is, is on cooldown. Cool down. 8 seconds. Can they catch oh, him? Oh, I'm lucky. As a result, yeah, that, that rotation from Invoker was very, very strange. There was no way they were going to kill the Sven without Chronosphere, and as a result, Invoker sort of loses even harder in the mid lane. Now look at the look at the CS difference between Weaver and Invoker now. 40 CS compared to 22 on the Invoker yeah. right now. Really, really going in favour of the Weaver. Oh, third man in trouble. There's one silence, two silence. Sunstrike oh, just off. misses, but doesn't matter. Gets doesn't punched matter. down. Weaver is rotating top though. Going to maybe try and go. Oh, German. The, the swarm just missed the push. Yeah. He does need to be careful. He's gonna back off. So, I mean, a, a, as it stands, the, the mid for the University of Nottingham is kind of sacrificed for the, the goodness that the, the, the off lane is getting, and vice versa for the sign of the University of Bath. And as a result, so. I mean, Sven's still leading the way in farm, so it could yeah. be worse, you know. He's maxed out Cleave as well. Now, I think this is definitely the the, the, the way to play Sven, honestly. Like, he, he can, you know, there's been a, a few stacks in the jungle as well. When he picks up Helm of Dominator as well, he can start stacking his Ancients for himself. And, I mean, he can farm Ancients so much faster and so much earlier than the Gyrocopter. The Gyrocopter needs, you know, a lot of damage to make his flat cannon able to kill um, Ancients. But Sven just pops his ulti, starts clearing Ancients very, very easily. Yeah, yeah, really good um, point. And he's got he's got the Helm of Dominator as well. So I'd like to see him pick up a pick up a, a creep and start stacking the Ancients, and, and then. You know, maybe leave uh, the lane for a support farm in like Venge or the Disruptor as a result. I mean, Disruptor's still level 3, like he needs his levels, and so does obviously Venge. So in Invoker I denied that tower mid, by the way. Hmm. Nice. Um, was that like, I mean, Disruptor is still very, very low level. They need to sort of prioritize some farm and experience with this Disruptor. So when Sven rotates a farm jungle, one of the supports from University of Bath should be farming the bot lane. There is the Helm of the Dom on Sven. Pretty ballsy from Weaver. What do you get first? And just get a Deso and yeah, I, I, I think Deso is definitely the way to go. I mean, he could go, he could go Lincoln as well. Actually, mid lane. Oh, this is a big old fight. A lot of damage. There's a Silence on Weaver though. Can they finish him up before he get the time lapse up? He doesn't even need to use it. He's just going to go in there. Earth Spirit down. There's the time. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful Sick play, dodge. Man. Sick play by the Weaver there. Instantly saw the void. What a play. Time lapse style and makes the void feel an absolute fool. A fool! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> nice rotation there from the University of Bath, but they've been really sort of keeping momentum in this game. They've been yeah. making the plays, and, and I think this is the thing that really sets them apart from the other teams. But actually, Weaver's top lane, going to try and go on the Dryocopter. Dryocopter should be fine, but Venus, but a, not level 6 of me, still so much damage on the Dryocopter. He's going to go down as a result. Man, this Weaver's making a lot of plays and doing so much work for his team. He really is. What a player. Dire Meanwhile, Bok. Then, uh, Treads, Helm of the Dom, just beefing it up. Yeah. Chrono on cooldown as well. I don't think they can really force anything from the side of, uh, the University of Nottingham, but Earth Spirit as well uh, as Scarf made it all down here. I'm just gonna force them off. Um, oh, does he actually on the spend? Sun Strike does hit. Sven dropping quite low, but still very, very well healthy. Yeah, he's fine. A lot of spells used, a lot of one charges. He is absolutely top fine. Tower is under attack. But going back to the item build onto the Weaver, though, I think Desolator is definitely the best choice. Like for heroes like Skyrath Mage, like, oh. they're going to be so squishy. Like he's going to die to like two or three attacks with Germinate attack. Lincoln Sphere is definitely a possibility. It'd be good against obviously the Skyrath Mage um, yeah, against Silence. Skyrath, but I, I think at the same time, like. 
he's doing very well. Like this, it's always good to try and snowball. He's having a good time mid with Desolator this early. It can crush not only the Skyrath Mage, but the Gyrocopter himself is, is kind of squishy. Like only 800 HP, so I, I think 100 percent agree. If he's having a good start, he's 202. He, he's he's got lots of farm for a mid laner against Invoker. Exactly. Don't go defensive. Go on the offense. Take it to them. Yeah, and, and not only that, but like if he's worried about the Skyrath um, Mage too, he can just pick up a BKB anyway. Like BKB is probably needed this game. He's playing against the Gyrocopter cooldown, plus obviously the science from Earth and Invoker and, as well. And Invoker yeah. as well. Yeah. So I think BKB is needed. So. That you don't want to go BKB and Link because it's far too defensive. So going Desso yeah. into uh, BKB. Plus he's got Bottle as well, so he won't need the mana regeneration from the Link. So I definitely think Desso Mayor is, is the superior choice here. Interesting. I don't think I've uh, I've seen Weaver mid too many times, but I like what I've seen so far. Yeah, it's working yeah, out well. quite well, honestly. Um, oh, they're all TPing out. Look at this. Looks like the nose signs up. Are they going to go and pressure Sven oh, here? Oh, Syrap is so dead actually, he's well out of position. Oh, look at the damage from the Weaver. Trying to get the silence off Phoenix, but... Oh, Sunstrike! Oh, 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 he just lives, are you kidding me? Oh, man. That was a beautiful Sunstrike. One more point in Exor would definitely secure the kill there, <laughs> yeah. but... Unlucky nonetheless. I mean, he's got Midas Brown Boots. Uh, Weaver pretty close to Desso, so... He's going to be having an impact, I think. Before. Oh, Rotation there it goes. Stun actually onto Stun. the Evoker. So much damage on the Evoker. Evoker's oh, going down wow, more than anything. Absolutely Phoenix. blown up. Yeah, Phoenix said not even really needed, but Evoker goes down. and I mean, this Evoker's sort of struggling. He had a bit of a hard time in mid-game. He tried to rotate down bottom. bottom. Didn't really find a lot of kills. And as a result, kind of struggling. He does have Midas, so he obviously has a way to get back into the game in terms of farm. But so far, Evoker up and struggling. Earth Spirit is Radiance level 4, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that I quite understand the, the use of him as a kind of support kind of guy. He needs those levels. Yeah, I, I definitely think support Earth Spirit is, is good and it can work, but I think you have to find the kills, you have to find the rotations. If, you may, if we look back to the early start of the game, Radiance the only person rotating is the side of the support. Oh, 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 no, 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 what are you doing? The corner is good, though. But they can't get much done on the Weaver. He's got time left. Back he goes. Call down, is that going to do much? Sven, he gets locked up. There goes the Earth Spirit Disruptor. Can he do anything? He hasn't got any spells off cooldown. I think we were just going to back it up to him. Venge still has everything. She's going to get this done. He's only going to pick up a quick exit kill on the Skyra. Critical stuff from Weaver. I think he's going to get Void here as well. This guy's unstoppable. Oh, oh there it is. So much One damage. Holy oh, oh. oh, God, he lives. Man, the wow. PMS, man. Four man shield saving lives on that Void there. Jeez. <laughs> But this Venge plus Weaver combo is so oh. strong though, so much mi minus and armor. And he's got it, he's bloody got it. Man, so much minus armor now with the, with the Desolator, plus obviously the Swarm, plus the Wave of Terror. Man, these these heroes on the side of University of Nightmare are going to go completely down. But I think that trade was kind of even. Uh, Invoker does go down again, but at least they killed the Sven. And yeah, it was yeah. a nice rotation from, from uh, Gyrocopter. They saved sort the of tower too, so yeah. Exactly. So the game's still on even foot. And both teams looking for an advantage. But we do see a Sven rotated top. He's actually gone Blink Dagger, actually. So he's going to try and look for an opening, try and look to go aggressive. Normally, the, uh, the standard build on Sven is Helmet Dominate into S and Y. Focus on farming, focus on you know, using the, the max cleave that you've got, farming Ancients. But he's gone for the more of aggressive build here. And he has to make sure that he uses this Blink to his full effect. I think that uh, it sets up a lot with the Phoenix. With the, I mean, they know Weaver's going to do the damage now. I don't yeah, know. I dread yeah. to think how many. I mean, he's going to three shot the Skyrath, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Gyro as well. He's not looking uh, in great shape. Rotations from. Uh, University of Bob going to try and get himself the top tower. Gyrocopter is here, but I don't think they're in any position to try and defend this now. Desolator onto Weaver. They just try and split push, try and focus on mid, focus on bot, and just give up the T1 tower. They're in not a, no good position to try and defend this. Radiance middle wow, tower is under attack. Buff really looking good at the start of this Dyer's game. Top tower mid actually. Weaver going to try and defend it. The T1 tower going to egg! egg. Let's try and go the void. Oh my god, look at that damage! Void's gonna maybe try and hold it. Oh, this is bad for Weaver! One more damage! Oh, 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 oh my god! And the chase is on! Now he's gonna think better of it. Oh man, there was not. Wait, come around the back! Can they get a glimpse? There's the gyro right to the way to Weaver. There's the bench oh. done! Perfect timing! Sven picks up the kill. God strength popped, he hits it very hard. Is he gonna catch anyone? I don't think so. Wow, that was wow. good for Buff.
Yeah, it really was actually. Unfortunately, they didn't have the burst damage to kill the Weaver. Like, all that damage they, they spent on trying to kill the Weaver was completely negated with the time lapse. And as a result, they committed so much to kill the Weaver, did kill him. As a result, University of Bath completely turned the team fight. They won the team fight, now they're taking the team to tower as well. And I think Roche is definitely on the cards with Desolator Weaver plus the Wave of Terror on Venge. They're going to rip through this Roche incredibly quickly. I mean, Void, Void's got a blast. I think just to help him farm and try and catch up, but although he, he's got 82 lasted, he doesn't have the oh, items that he needs. Oh, actually. what the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, Scrap, nice silence onto the, 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 the Sven, though. He's going to get disrupted, yeah. oh, and what? as a result, what? that's Clips, what's well. going on? He's all over the place. Still goes down, nonetheless, though, but it does save the Void. Probably the, the superior pick. But, yeah, at the moment, University of Nottingham, they don't have the damage. Like, they have to be landing, like, meatball combos with... Uh, you know, the credits the plus the, 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 the cooldown. Because at the moment, they don't have the damage a bit to bursting down the heroes like Weaver. And if they don't have the Dying burst damage, this Weaver's going to cause Sunset an absolute attack. disaster. Oh, the, the, the Invoker is 0-4. You know, he yeah. had such a bad time yeah. against the Weaver and the rotations. Couldn't get anything going. Like you said, Weaver, hard to kill, hard to rotate. Yeah. Invoker just sort of chilling there. Yeah, trouble. And it wasn't only the Weaver, it was the it was the well played by the supports. Yeah, yeah. They rotated over. Absolutely. I mean University of Nottingham, they had the opportunity to rotate over. They had Earthspit, they had Skyrim, more than a more of ability to rotate, and yet they didn't. They they played passive and now look what's got them not very far. And Roshan, look how fast Roshan goes down there with Desolate plus Wave of Terror. Dropping very, very quickly. University of Nottingham oh, yeah, are gonna, gonna try and contest though. This could be big actually. This could be important. The Roshan dropping very, very quickly. Spank pops gold string actually. But he's gonna get in time. I think what? he is. Oh, he's going to steal. He's going to get it. Oh, he's going to get it. Oh, my God, we even got it. He's just going to melt them. Down goes Boyd. Down goes the spirit. Gyrocopter. He can't stand up to it. Scarathalti. Complete whip. One more to attack. You do. Holy cow. Three dead. Scarath. Run, man. Run. Nope. <laughs> you can't run for Sven, man. And wow, that, that team fought was, was so close from being wow. good. But the, the thing is, because Roshan was going down so quickly, University of Nottingham felt pressure to try and help, try and fight, try and yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. And whenever you rush things like that, you know, it's only going to go one way. And as a result, University of Bath come out on top. Very, very tough now for Nottingham. They dropped the meatball oh, off, but oh, oh, Invoker just didn't anticipate, Radiant didn't anticipate. Would have time to get his combo off, but no, he's dead for 38. They are all back. I'm not sure what they can do here. They got the Aegis. They're just going to back it up. They're going to play it safe. Like, I mean, Crestfair is still down, but they're, they're still scared of, of pushing up high ground this early into the game. Or maybe they're going to fake back. No, they're going to they're going to TV top, push up top, and you know they've still got Aegis now on on the thing. Is it the Sven? No, it's on the Weaver. So. Um, we bursting down the Weaver, it just makes it even harder now because Weaver's doing so much damage here, he's oh, so yeah. squishy. But now with Aegis, it's so difficult to do it, get it done. Obviously, they have to deal with the time lapse now as well, so very, very difficult to deal with. Weaver is 7 and 0, oh, by the way. <laughs> really playing so well, actually. They need to get him in the corner sphere, need to somehow kill him. It's going to be very difficult. If you look at University of Nottingham, though, they do have the Wombo combo. Like, if everything goes according to plan, like, you know, Chrono 1 to 5, you know, cooldown from Gyrocopter, you know, Meatball from Invoker, there's a lot of ways to, to, to come back in the team fight. It's just like, can they land a good Chrono Sphere? Can they, you know, get University of Bath to group up a Spark? If they can, then they can turn this game. I, I, think, I think the issue they're having is that Bath have the flight control in Heroes with Venge and Disruptor. Now, I, I was looking at their draft, and I was like, oh, I'm not so sure, but... I was so friggin' wrong, like, <laughs> Venge and Disruptor are doing so much work in this game. Setting it up for Weaver and Sven to do whatever yeah, they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now on Sven as well, so... He should, he's not gonna be in any really shape or form in danger of, like, stuns from Earth, Spear, obviously, the combo from Voka, like, he can go have complete free reign. The only thing that can stop him is the Chronosphere, but because Sven is so tanky, I don't think they can kill the Sven in, in the Chronosphere. No. And even if they can, they've got to deal with the Weaver as well. There's yeah. so many things they have to deal with. So as a result, looks like they're going to group up now, try and take down the last outer tower uh, in, in the map. Now, do you think this is a good trade, giving up your Tier 2 for a Tier 1? Uh, I mean, obviously not. Tier 2 obviously are far more Radiant's important, but the thing is that they, they can't attack. buy anything outside of base because they're going to lose it. Like, fighting into Aegis Weaver, they have to make the trade. This is the only trade that can work. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
Radiance bottom tower. Is no. Radiance structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower. That is a Hulk in here. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's a brilliant. I love Sven. Right. Radiance they got the bottom tower. tower has fallen. Now they got to come back. And again, Dyer's armor for all. Plus tower. 22, by the way. Got to rely on some big chronospheres, man. And pushing high ground is definitely going to be in favor of uh, the face Void, but all that news, tower still drops though. But look, look where the Avenger and the Disruptor really good way positioning. back. Yeah, really no danger getting to him. Really good positioning. Oh, oh, what a use from Scarf Mage though. So not that, unfortunately. Now, he's going to get Clint's back. Oh, so he's going in. Oh. Oh, oh we got we got got up. Up. there it is. There's that control we were talking about. Sven BKB, can he get a stun off? Who's he going to chuck it at? He's just going to give him the chase down. Bonk. Oh, oh nice. Nice. He's still fine though, has an egg? No! The egg's already Phoenix. down. Oh my god, Phoenix run! He gets oh, pushed down. Bit of a mistake there. Weaver though, giving him the goose. Weaver did so much. Oh, he starts out as well. Why back a giant cop? Look at the sky roof! Look at the shrine defend. Oh, actually, Vince diving in tier 4, what is he wow. doing? Right, buy back from Esprit, buy back from Gyro, but they lost a lane of Rack. Rack oh still my go down, goodness. man. Rack still go down. So, the University of Bob still going to be happy with that. They still got the Aegis and Weaver as well, so they're, they're happy with that trade. And unfortunately, University of Nome, they just don't have what it takes to, to deal with the BKB on, on Sven. They don't have, obviously, to deal with the, with the Weaver Aegis. And, even when they land at a decent chronosphere, the Avengers there to back him up. Like yeah. everyone on the University of um, uh, on the University of huh? <laughs> there we go. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's playing. Uh, it's playing so well, obviously. Like not only the course but the sports as well. Really playing well. Attack. Wow. Have a quick look at the scoreboard. So you got an 03 Earth Spirit. You got an 05 Invoker. Fighting against a 707 Weaver and a 625 Sven. Very tough, but you saw in the last game. Anything's possible, man. Never over. Not over to the fat lady sings, man. There's a Samantha Zeto up on uh, Weaver. What do you get next, Lincoln? I don't know. I think BKB is probably the safer option. Uh, we mentioned Lincoln tonight. I think, yes, Lincoln is obviously good on Weaver because he's in mana regeneration, but it looks like he's going to go something else, actually. He's going to pick up the Vitality Booster, so. Maybe even go straight for hot. Um, yeah, wow. So it's gonna be very, very hard to deal with in terms of killing. The thing is, he gets that armor buff from the Sven. I mean, look how much that buff is. 20 bonus armor for eight seconds. That's plenty. So that he can just armor. stack up health. He gets the armor from Sven. BKB on Sven now, of course. So unstoppable, really. God, <laughs> he's got a hyper stone. Oh, terrifying. Oh, oh, sneaky play here from the Sven. What? All right. Oh, they're doing Roshan. Gabba. <laughs> oh, this could be the, the final fight, though. You never see a knight going to push on yeah, the high ground. Pushing up into this high ground. Got their positions. The wrap around the edge. Because the rock. Position. They give away nice. rock. Oh, oh my God! He just shot the rock. Holy mackerel! The corner spear just catches Gyro in it. They're able to weave and punishes that fight. Managed to time off some of it off for a couple more. The bird pees on him and he's dead. Holy moly. Man, I mean, it was a nice idea from the University of uh, Bob, but unfortunately they're just too far behind. The Sven is far too big and the Weaver is just going out of control. They lost top racks, they lost bot racks, and they're most likely going to lose the mid racks. And then from there, most likely the game. But the, the gyro got caught in the in the corners. The GG! There there GG! There GG! Well played! University of Bob! Come out! After a fantastic series from both teams and great play from both teams, but you guys hit them off. They do proceed to the next game, the next series. Brilliant, really, really good series. Loads of fun to watch, and uh, yeah, brilliant from Bath there. Fully deserved it with that. The hold in game two, I think, gave them hope for game three. They really did. They were really good in game three, so congratulations. Exactly. And so, uh, as a result, the final series is going to be University of Bath versus University of Cambridge. What a game that's going to be. That's going to be obviously tomorrow, guys. But from us, we're going to be uh, heading on out.